In another video, I showed how to use USB overdrive, but I also showed a trick that I've been using so that I have something that says, use global settings. And when you go there, it says use global settings on each of these items down here. So if I go ahead, any one of those, use global settings. Or if I look at another application, it's mostly saying use global settings, but there are some changes. Well, so how did I get this use global settings? If we look at the other ones right here, they're all applications. This one isn't really. So how did I do that? Well, I ended up using a little bit of a trick, but let's go ahead. Before I delete these settings and recreate them, I'm going to show how I can export these settings, and I'm just going to export those to the desktop. There we go. Any mouse use global settings. Just save that to the desktop. I actually had saved it before. I'll just go ahead and save that again. And oh, it's showing up on my other screen. And drag that over. I do have a second monitor on here, so I could always bring those back in. So now I'm going to go ahead and just say delete these. If I ever need them again, I have them exported. I could always import them, but the use global settings is gone. Okay, so how do I get that use global settings back? Here's what I did. I went into script editor and I created a new document. This document doesn't really have to do anything. It has to have something that could be interpreted. Well, just two dashes are interpreted as a comment. So I can compile that and that's my entire application. It doesn't do anything. And then I'm going to save it, Command S, and it gives this a chance to save it. I'll go ahead, even put it on the desktop, and I am going to call it space use global settings. And I'm going to go ahead also make sure I have that capitalized. So use global settings, and I do want it to be an application. And I'm going to say show startup screen. Usually I don't do that when I write an application. Not that I write many, but there we go. There it is, show startup screen. So I could go ahead and save that. And I don't even need this anymore. I could go ahead and close it. And here it is. I've just created this application right here. Use global settings. Now I am going to go ahead. We can go ahead, just go to any mouse, any application. That's our default. I'm going to say use global settings. And I now have this application running. And I'll just move that over. Press run to run the script. I don't even need to run it. I'll just quit it. It doesn't do anything. But what this allows me to do is I could say new duplicate settings. Now, when I have these new duplicate settings, any application, I'm going to use use global settings and location, any location. So device type mouse, use global settings. That's the name of an application. The application does nothing. I'll be throwing it out later. It allows me to just create an empty space here, if you will, any device, any location. Now I can go through this for my use global settings and set each one of those to be use global settings. Just like, just like we saw before, I could use the down arrow on my keyboard, they allow you to do that, to go ahead and do this real quick. So bear with me for a moment. I'm just gonna go ahead, I'll create it from scratch. I won't even import my other one. Just use global settings on any of them. Use global settings. So that's it for mine, that's all I have. You may have more or less, more or fewer um, items right here, but I've used global settings and it's set, it's done. Um, wheel button, and everything else could be just kept the same. Now use global settings. Now, if I go ahead and I start this up, when I want to add a new application, I can go to my use global settings, and then I could say duplicate that one, new duplicate settings. And I can go ahead, pick anything I want here. Um, oh, what's something that I haven't set anything up for? A lot of these I have, but I'll say Word. Word, I don't think I have anything set up for, and I now have Word any mouse with Word, and it will say use global settings on all of those. And maybe I want for my middle mouse button, I want a special something different. I want triple click to select things differently. I can go ahead and set that up. In this case, I actually don't want anything for Word. So I could just go up here and again say delete those settings. And yes, make them be gone. But now I have this use global settings that I can use whenever I, whenever I go ahead and set up other programs. With this application right here, I could just say quit, get out of it. I don't need it anymore. And command delete, delete it. I don't even need my backup anymore. I already, you know, it was easy enough to remake for this. Um, script editor, it is, you may have to go ahead and use um, Spotlight to find it, or it is in your applications and then utilities. I just had that on my desktop here. Uh, you could go ahead and find that. But that is how I made my use global settings. It is a little bit of a workaround. And of course, yeah, it will not have any effect on anything at this point. It's just there to 
give me all of these right here, use global settings. That way, if I ever change this right here, I change my button four, I have a mouse with a bunch of buttons to be something other than control tab, it will affect all of my applications unless I've set them specifically to do something different with button four.